I am sure that roaming the streets of Accra, Ghana, in the scorchy sun, the sweet heat of Africa, you may have encountered a coconut seller. I'm sure you have also been thinking, well, that's for the low and bubbly. But how about turning the fortunes of those who till the dirt to plant the coconut trees, those who harvest that, to make a, a decent export and to also push for rural development. This morning I've been joined by two gentlemen who will help us through that because there's a big thing coming your way. Patrick Zeal is a program manager for planting for export and rural development. Kweku Boating is the director of the African Coconut Group. They're joining me this morning. Gentlemen, good morning and welcome. Thank you very much. What's all this noise about coconuts? All right, thank you very much. I think... Um when this government took over, one of the key things they decided to do is to use agriculture to develop the economy mm. and also provide jobs for the teaming youth. Mm. And also, but the key part is to restructure the economy. Mm. So the whole idea is to restructure the economy, okay. present opportunities for mm. us to create a lot of employment for the mm. youth. So mm. we need to identify commodities through which we can, because as a country, most of our base is in the, um, um, in the rural economy right. and the greater employment is in agriculture. Okay. So if you want to enter into somebody's life, what mm. does it do? And mm. that is agriculture. Okay. Okay. So you heard um, that through Agri Ministry, mm -hmm. they, they uh, came out with a planting for food and jobs because right. a lot of people depend on the mm -hmm. annuals. Mm -hmm. Then there are others who likely will depend on the perennials, which mm -hmm. is tree crops. Mm -hmm. That is what we roll it out of planting for export and rural development. Okay. So the planting for export and rural development mm -hmm. basically seeks to diversify the. Last year we have engaged all the research institutions, mm -hmm. have engaged the private people, mm -hmm. and we have pushed all these through them, and therefore. It is easy to promote it because of the health benefits right, and other things right. that, are, that are coming up. Mm. So you see a lot of people going into coconut. Mm. Yes, it's because of the new government initiating a new government effort committed to it. Mm. And that is why. And, and that's why you have this heightened uh, you know, interest in, exactly. in coconut. I remember the coffee conference, uh, the very yes. first one I was yes. held. Yes. It was mentioned. It was mentioned. I didn't think it was going to happen. Yes, because that is the same thing we are doing for the coconut. Last year mm. we did a coconut federation okay. and we mob modeled it and then the coconut federation took it. We had mm. a nice coffee mm -hmm. conference this mm -hmm. year. They did the same mm. thing. And this year we also do coconut. Mm. And after we finished the coconut federation uh, with African Coconut Group, mm. this is what they are also picking up. Interesting. To drive it. Chief, let's talk about public private partnership because right. oftentimes when you plant, you harvest, uh, the farmer the, in the village or in the farm, doesn't seem to benefit so much from it. How do we collaborate to ensure that this beautiful idea benefits rural folks to develop them as well? Right. Just like uh, my colleague said, you know, uh, on 23rd of April, the government organized excellence in Anadu Dankwa launched the PED program. And under the business strategic uh, unit of PED mm. comes the private uh, government uh, partnership mm. uh, where the private sector wants to use uh, the government's initiative to drive the rural economy. Mm -hmm. And this brought back the geni genius of African Coconut Group, okay. and then the Made in Ghana International Coconut Festival, mm -hmm. which seeks to bring on board all the industry players across the globe, those with the technology, others with the export, mm -hmm. and then the processors, the vendors. So we are creating that market link okay. so that our poor farmers will have value mm. for their produce. Mm. And this is what we currently well, do. What is the potential of this coconut export we want to do? Because, I mean, I step onto the streets, the sun is squashy, I grab a coconut, it's for two CDs, maybe two CD50, I, I drink it, and I think that's okay for me. But you are talking about export. How much are we to gain if we decide to export coconut? Yes, so this morning I was telling him that it is so amazing day by day what I see. Um, not only in the juice that mm. they use it even for infusion in extreme cases. Right. But then even you look at the va uh, values that we expect to get, we are trying to we're trying to validate our company. We could even get about $2 billion mm. by 2024 if wow. we need to structure our system very Properly. well. And that is where we are working towards. This is an ambitious program. Mm. And what we have done is that all these six commodities should at least should be able to give you about $2 billion mm. by 2024. And let me add to this. The reason why the private sector play a critical role mm. is that 
anything you want sustainability, mm -hmm. you want expected results, and you want it to propel to other people, it is a private sector. Sure. So in our approaches, we have three key approaches, decentralized structure. Okay. The decentralization is to ensure that the communities own the program, mm -hmm. but then each person in the community is targeted. Okay. The second is the private sector participation, mm -hmm. and that is why we are mobilizing all the commodity federations. Mm -hmm. Then we give it to them to drive to it. To run it for to you. To run it okay. for us. Okay. So just like the coffee uh, federation is running, mm -hmm. so uh, the coconut is running. Okay. But this time, it is the, co uh, the African coconut group. Mm -hmm. They have a it's a company with a well established mm. and they are helping us to mobilize all the people and as i speak with you we have the private coconut nurseries mm. and those are the only people who are championing who are running, who are running so, so tell me the role now that the uh, coconut group the african coconut group and the uh, federation plays in, in this one you've mentioned that they are nursing the seedlings and all but what other role are they playing i think the key part here is that um, when we met the African Coconut Group, we told them this what government. In fact, it is a demand driven, so they came first to us. Okay. That we have competences in this. And mm -hmm. we look at them, we realize that they have uh, experts in mm -hmm. all the areas. So, what we told them is the first, let's mobilize the people. Mm -hmm. Because people, there are huge investments available mm. and they want a, a, a formalized institutions mm -hmm. to be able to drive it. Mm. The other thing is that they also help and identify key operators in the value chain. Mm -hmm. And that is why now he is the president of the nursery operators, right, right. Uh, coconut operators. Mm. And for us, the idea is to supply only certified planting materials okay. and ensure that these people get the required training mm -hmm. and they'll all be at the same level so that this issue about keeps in pulse weight and diseases that and coming. So seedlings are supplied through only certified sources and that's why we are using the private people. Chief, so tell me now, them. how how many seedlings are we hoping to distribute over what period? And I'm, I'm interested in the species and the quality uh, if it meets international standards. Yes, yes uh, for international standards uh, for export, you are looking at the bricks level, which should be high. You are looking at the sweetness, we are looking at the average weight, which should be about 2.8 kilos. Okay. So all these varieties that we are selecting here towards the project mm. has all these qualities, okay. which means international and local demand. I see. Yes. So, yes. so you are, we are good to go. We are very, we, very we are good set to go, to go my brother. Let's talk about the festival, because you're heralding this with a festival. What is it about? Why do we need a festival, first of all, uh, to talk about coconut? Okay, so before my brother comes in, you see, what government idea about committing to these commodities is to open them up for investment. Mm. And these are private investment. Okay. Coco coconut is a global commodity, taken everywhere. Mm. And even in the with our work with them, we are promoting what we call agritourism. Do, do the do the do the farmers appreciate that this is a global commodity that you know they toy with? Uh, yes, like I said, a lot of farmers' livelihood okay. depend on it. That right. is why we, we selected okay. we selected that. Mm. We have strong private people who are championing that. Okay. But for us, from the paired, and maybe we'll see um, why is the paired involved? Yes, the paired is doing this to be able to open the 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 idea of the. Uh, coconut um, value chain mm. for the global sector investment. Okay. As we said, we are drawing our global attention mm. to this, mm. this investment. But this can be done through the festival mm. that the uh, private yes. people... Let, let's talk about the festival mm. quickly. Yes. So, what is it? Where yes. is it happening? So as he's, he's saying, uh, let me quickly come to the other value mm. of coconut. Because all that we're doing, we are looking at other value. Right. You know, we, we, we in Ghana only see coconut as for meat and water. Right. But nothing of the coconut goes waste. Every part of it has an alternative use, which has a potential to create jobs. Everything. Yeah, every part Everything. of it. For instance, if you look at the shell, okay, that we throw away. When you go to the mining sectors, okay, they treat gold. Okay. You know that the active carbon they use is made from coconut shell. Really? Yes, you see. Wow. You see the you know that the coconut has called shell. It's an additive in insecticides. Mm. Okay? Mm. Do you know that the coconut husk could be used for the manufacture of fiber boards, right. which has fire resistant properties? And even biofuel okay? as Bio well. Biofuel, biodiesel. You know, when you go to Solomon Islands, mm -hmm. you know, there's an area that they produce coconut. The electricity there is generated with the oil coconut oil. So it has potential. Let's potential. talk about the festival. Why are we having a party? Yes. Uh, the, 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 the launch of the festival is on the... Uh, thank you for using the word party. It is you a know, party. We, we I'm excited we, about this. Party is a fanfare. We learn, you know, we discuss and we link up, you mm -hmm. know, so that we become more productive. 
in our areas. Mm. Now, the party, the launch is on the 18th of uh, June, 18th which is June. this okay. coming Tuesday okay. at the La Palm Royal Beach mm. at 10 a.m. Yes, the, the festival itself is on the 24th September to 26th. Okay. And there are a whole lineup of activities mm. that we should You, you want to share a few of the activities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's mm. going to be a B2B session and uh, there's going to be a farm tour. Have you ever been to a coconut farm before? I have. Yeah. Uh, around the Kade area. What is the acreage? I, I don't, don't tell remember. Me 10, 5 I, acres. I don't remember. We're looking at 100 <laughs> acres, 200 acres, 150 acres. You see the beauty of the coconut. Mm. You tend to appreciate it more as a business venture okay. and not as meat and water. Mm. We are also looking at uh, teaming up with our researchers. Okay. We are bringing researchers from all over the globe. All over the globe. Teaming up with our local research mm. to improve. Let, let's talk about the theme quickly. We, we, we need to run. The theme, who can attend? And then I'll come to uh, my brother here to tell me about who we are partnering because this is big. Right. Let's talk about the theme and who can attend the, yes. the festival. The theme for the festival is uh, promoting uh, export diversification through a robust Ghanaian coconut industry. Okay. Yes. Mm. And who can attend? Every industry player and every Ghanaian who has interest in making money out of coconut because it's a business venture. We are creating that business opportunity. Okay. Right. Where well, we have the party. The, <laughs> the the launch. No, bro. I mean, no, it, it, yeah, I'm so, calling so. it a party because this is big news yeah, 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 yeah. that must be celebrated right, in right, grand style. Right, we we right. can't continue doing things in a mundane fashion, right? Uh, right. Because yeah. this is money to be made. Exactly. And for our rural folks, I'm exactly. happy when they're happy. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you see, um, the event itself for the launch will take place at the La Palm Royal Beach, like right. you said. But the main festival itself will be at the conference center. Okay. And let me add that the People, we you see the greater part is mm. that they always organize international coconut festival in Canada every year, mm. where some Ghanaians, the African coconut group, okay. always attend. Right. This time, when we spoke about the pair and what we intend to do mm. with the concept of agri tourism mm. and the opportunities, they decided to lobby their counterparts in Canada mm. and decided that this year event they will hold in Canada will match to. Ghana. Wow. Right. So they are bringing the whole entourage, everybody to Ghana. Wow, that's big. And also, there is this huge um, high level business team from China mm. led by the AM Group. Mm. They are in Ghana mm. and investing huge into the coconut industry. Okay. They are bringing their whole team, business high level team mm. from China to. But Ghana wow. mm. is open. The good part is that it is open to everybody. Everybody is. Even if to. you have no idea about coconut. Just come and learn. Show yourself. Oh, show yourself. See opportunities. I've mm. been telling my people, for you to create well, at least own one hectare. Okay. How do you do it? What value can you add mm. if you don't even want to go to the farm? So there are a lot of opportunities, opportunities that and people, people coming learn. out to show. I, I am excited about it, but thank you very much, Patrick Seal. He is the program manager, planting for export and rural development. Most grateful. Also, Kweku Boati is the director of the African Coconut Group. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. So if you didn't know, now you know there's about $2 billion uh, to be made from this. And it's uh, Ketsi, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, the uh, Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, also the Coconut Federation and the Can Canada Coconut festival they're putting this together so sit tight wait for it tuesday uh you will join us at the coconut grove and make sure that this happens cafe doll don't be dull